Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Turfentine on the Inside Track, Wednesday, the 11th of November. Going to be an extremely difficult card to work out because um, we now got wet going. The pentrometer is 27, 5.5 uh, meters false rail to the 500 meter mark. We're on the inside track and you're going to find, try and find horses that like the wet going. Unfortunately, there's not much form to work on, but I have tried to identify the ones that have got chances. Eight race program. First race is um, a 1450 maiden plate and that is off at 1250. 10 to 1, remember, first race at turf and team right so what can win it 11 of the horses that have run looks like the right horse mantero uh, gavin larina for johanny answer van Furen, two very nice runs and should go very close but the horse that might end up being the right horse is eagle valley the sylvana cult of uh, sean terry's with lyle hewitson on beautifully bred and uh, should get the trip the comment is um, will be running on nice horse will be running on and i'd expect with uh, tough conditions could run on. Irish Rain's drawn 16, that's not going to help. The stable companion Abia to the favourite, to Mantera, uh, has had one good run on the, this inside track, so it should go close. Race 2, Maiden Plate, Phillies and Mares, they go 14.50, and uh, my top choice is Lady Nicker. Ignore its last run, um, she might have needed the run, that was definitely not a form she'd drawn uh, badly, that I don't think anything fell into place for her, and I'm looking for a big, big improvement from Lady Nicker. But she's got number 15, Emmeline, to beat. That's a filly that's come in um, from the reserve runner, and Murray gets a ride for Mike DeCock, a very nice first run, but also a good first run from Sean Terry's runner, Ruby Wu. So I look for improvement from that one, and pretty well drawn as well. She's uh, by Karari, and should go well over this type of trip. Uh, race 3, 14.50, Merry Rate at 72. This is an extremely difficult race. I, 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 the more I went through it, the more I could see more horses that had a chance. I went for the Sands last time. I think he needed the run, and I think he'll be a big improver. Um, so he's a very big price. Private Ruler likes the wet. He, he's certainly got to have some sort of chance when it's wet. So does So Long Spring of the older horses. They should go well in the wet. Melchedek hasn't gone in the wet, but uh, Schwartz rides it in not bad form its last couple. But she's very moderate, uh, uh, or oh, he's very moderate. Um, Manitoba, four from seven places in the wet, might go. Infill Bloom hasn't run well in the wet. Contrail looks like an improver, but drawn 13, Forever Light drawn 16, not in its favour. Impossible. Right, let's go to race four, where it's uh, not quite, quite so impossible. 1,000 metre, Mary Raider. Vara Glow looks to be my first choice. Uh, Gavin Lorena gets a ride uh, for Candace Torson. That's number three on the card. Look at his run before last. That was a very, very good run. And I'd expect it uh, over the 1,000 to be absolutely right. This is the right trip for this horse. And I think it'll probably go in the wet the uh, Vars normally do. That's number three. What else is there? Well, I thought six blow me down at a chance. He's won one out of three in the wet, gets a good rider in straight and because Kamalo's not riding. Others have got chances, eight gang leader, um, seven mind reader, definitely likes the wet, one from one in the wet. Diwali might improve third run after arrest and star flash improved last two so all got some sort of chance but i'm going um i see to likes the wet as well number one one from two and course and distance suited race five thousand meter graduation plate with the scratching of winter smoke greens looks like the right horse to me uh i, I really like uh, greens i think this filly will run extremely well she's certainly the best rated with sweet sensation sweet sensation Obviously got obvious chances on a run last week, but this comes very quickly after that run. Southern Charm, back to sprinting. She tried over a bit of ground. There wasn't a, a game. Try her back over the sprint. She won a maiden by six and a half. So she goes into the play. I'm making an absolute three-cornered contest. I can't see anything else. Race six. Mary rated uh, 96. They go 1,000 meters. Um, all of me, three from seven in the wet. Got very good form. Number two on your card. Nafa, he's run a couple of places in the wet and he looks like he's coming to himself now. He needed his last run, wasn't a bad run at all and um, should go very well and should improve on the, the last run behind Salem Queen where uh, it seems like uh, Southeast, number eight, number eight on the card, 
needed his last run very badly. Matrice, Patrice goes well in the wet, two from three places worth including. All of me, I think, is the right one of the two um, Corno Spies runners, and I think Narf is a big chance. State Trooper, I must mention, three from three in the wet, all those forms not very encouraging. So um, three places out of three starts in the wet. Race seven, Merry Raider 98, uh, they go 1800 meters. I like Gold Season. Um, I, I think he'll improve over the distance. I was very impressed with his maiden win um, uh, or his uh, gate crash stakes win. This is the right sort of trip for him. Interesting, De Gavea gets a ride on this horse. Um, and quite interesting to see that the Ashley Fortune runner is ridden by Diego de Gavea. What's the danger as well? Louis Jem uh, won first time out quite convincingly. The form hasn't been franked. Uh, due diligence, his last run, probably too short for it. The run behind Invisible was very good. Big improver, Louis Jim, put it into all your play. Kingsley's heart got good form. And then FS Squadron won a good maiden, but uh, you'd probably be able to get away with Kingsley's heart uh, gold season. Maybe Dr. Doolittle won well in maiden, but that might not, not have been that strong. And Louis Jim. Right, let's go to race eight. Um, this is a Merry rated fillies and mares, they go 1800 meters. She's a glow, is a class. She looks like the right filly, two very good runs. Calvin Habib gets a ride on her from a wide draw. That's not going to help, but Aldo was meant to come up and ride her. Cavation, one from three in the wet, drawn 17. That's not going to help uh, her either. Illuminate, one from four uh, and two places in the wet. The stable's in tremendous form, Brett Weber. Put it into all your play. My top choice is number seven, Mazzari. Uh, Callum Murray gets a ride for Corne Spies. Spies might have a very good day today. Put it into all your place. Certainly when the going changes, their horses do very, very well. What are the rest of them? Well, I think that may be uh, Consul Queen and Lander Rubies for the miners. All in all, most interesting card. And hopefully this has given you some encouragement and some help. And um, I think we'll get some payouts today. From me, James Goodman. You have a very good day. And all you Interbet fans, remember, if you're not an uh, Interbet subscriber, subscribe. You can play games. Uh, nice, miserable weather here in Durban. And um, leading up to the races, you could win some money on roulette or poker or one of the games.